Hey there, Sean Patrick Marr here, and uh, I wanted to share something that feels uh, a little vulnerable, a little edgy to share. Um, it's uh, basically a, a short story about something that happened to me a couple days ago um, that's me not necessarily in my highest. So, uh, but I'm doing this in service to a number of things and, and, and a great uh, lesson that I learned. So. I went to breakfast a couple days ago with my beloved and we were standing in line to order our food at the counter and um, they opened up a second register and I'm sitting there reading the menu and I, right when they open that register, I don't have even enough time to turn and start walking that way when I get this really aggressive tap on my back. And my immediate reaction was super defensive and almost aggressive. I turned around and I told him, don't push me in the back, you know, really directly, really intensely. And immediately his face changed and showed me that I might have misinterpreted what that, what that was, that he was actually trying to support me thinking that I didn't hear that person. Right. Um, and so I immediately apologized and realized in that moment, wow, there's something going on internally that had me make that reaction that was really really out of character for me so i immediately said I, I apologize i'm feeling tender in my heart and you know i didn't i didn't mean to be aggressive with you and it was immediately squashed right well i walk to the register and I'm, I'm as we're ordering i'm starting to like process what just happened realizing that i'm feeling a lot more tender and a lot more um like there's just something going on under the surface that i wasn't really present to and um, that had me kind of have that reaction. But instead of going into shame, like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, you know, it's not okay, I realized, well, I immediately owned it, you know? I, I'm not gonna let myself go into this place of shame like I screwed up, right? And especially being a men's coach, it's like, oh, I'm supposed to do things perfect. I'm supposed to have it all figured out. I should not be making a response like that. I should not react like that to any situation. But it dawned on me, it's like, no, no, it's not about being perfect. It's not about doing it perfectly right. It is about owning when we don't. When we don't uh, step up, when we don't live up to the like, standard that we are setting for ourselves, when we are saying, I want to live at this specific level, but when we don't make it, it's not about shaming ourselves or going and hiding in a hole. It's about fully saying that I own, that I screwed up right there, that I own, that that was a mistake that I made and that's okay. It's okay to actually say, hey, I screwed up, I'm human, and here's what I did, and here's how I'm gonna rectify it. So after we ordered breakfast, I actually walked back over and found that gentleman at his table and sat down and ended up having a really sweet connection with him. Um, and he asked what I did, and, and you know, it was very interesting to say that I was a men's coach, and even in that moment when I said it to him, I noticed like a bit of shame, like, oh, what is this person gonna think of me if I'm supposed to be supporting men and moving with their emotions and moving with the way that they show up and connect with the world, um, what's he gonna think of me having had that reaction to how he approached me, right? Um, but then I realized, like again, in that moment, it's like, no, I'm, I'm coming back to own it, and I think that's the key. We're not trying to be perfect. We're not trying to do it all perfect and right. We want to raise the standard of how we show up in the world, of course, but we don't want to shame ourselves for when we don't make make it to that standard, when we don't actually experience and live up to that. It's not about shaming ourselves. It's about saying, hey, I'm human and I own it. I screwed up and it's okay. It's okay that I screwed up. And now that I'm willing to just square my shoulders to it and face up to it and say, yeah, this was a mistake, then in the future I can be more aware of that. It also helped me to be really aware of how how easy it is for us to have an experience going on under the surface without us even knowing. You know, my heart was really feeling a lot very tender and it wasn't until I had that experience that I realized, oh wow, I'm I'm actually having a rough morning. And it and it was a it was a real blessing for me to be able to see like something goes on underneath when we don't actually get in touch with ourselves and we're not really honest about what's happening for us, that it can start coming out in really sideways uh, directions. You know, we can have these reactive experiences that are not, are not healthy when we're not in touch with what's actually happening in here. So the two big pieces that I was taking away from that is the continuation of being in touch with my heart 
and continuing to be in touch with my body and what's happening for me emotionally in every moment so that if there is something there, I can process that without it coming out sideways towards somebody else that perhaps I can actually show up in a cleaner way if something like that happens, right? I don't have to immediately go to like an aggressive reaction. And the second piece is that when I do go into that aggressive reaction, I don't have to shame myself for it. I can just own it. I can just say, hey, I screwed up and I apologize. And that wasn't the way I want to show up in my life and I'm going to effort to do better next time. So just remember, it's not about being perfect. It's not about doing it all right. It's just about efforting to always improve on ourselves and own it, own it when we don't.